everyone, I'm back with Cancer's reading for the month of July. So if you have any placements of Cancer in your chart, this reading is for you. Happy belated birthday to Gemini and happy birthday to Cancer. I'm sorry it wasn't here for June. I skipped the month of June, but I'm back now with July. So we're going to start out the reading. And before I start this reading, I would like to say that I read the cards very differently. I base them off my intuition. I'm going to try to do a very general reading depending on what cards come out. If it focuses more on relationship, then my focus will be there. If it's a very general reading and different cards come out, then I will make it general, okay? Um, I just wanted to say that um, tarot is not the end all of everything. Whatever comes out can be interchangeable depending on the decisions you make and the energy that plays out. We are the writers and producers of our own lives. So at any given time, we can make a choice to change the whole outcome such as life, right? So to begin your reading, Cancer, your overall energy is really building on your abundance, your pentacles, your focus on working and building that money, building that abundance, building that happiness. And as you can see, there's like a happy family, happy children, there's a person back here, and there's a lot of happiness. But the most that I see here is the pentacles. And what my mind is reflecting on for you is you building the money, the abundance, the finance, financial stability to bring a happy family, to bring happiness to your life. I mean, it's not to say that money brings happiness, but it does make you live comfortable, right? So I feel that's your main focus, okay? I see that there's something that you had, a wish fulfillment that did not come true or something that you have wished or wanted to happen, but it didn't happen, you know? It didn't happen the way you hoped it would have. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but the wish fulfillment card came in the reverse. And this has to do either with an Aquarius person or with a situation or with something you have hoped for that did not happen, okay? We also have the Knight of Rods in reverse because whatever passionate endeavor you were waiting for, whatever passionate um, beginning you wanted in this wish fulfillment did not happen. Okay, it didn't happen like you hoped it to happen, okay? Because, you know, universe does things differently, right? Then we have the moon. I think the moon is here to let me know that there's a lot of situations that are still unknown in this passionate endeavor or this wish fulfillment that you want, right? There's things that are still left in the dark, and maybe it's be because of you, or maybe it's because of the other party or the other situation or whatever is going on. It did not work out the way it was because there was not, oh, if there, it was no open. There was not, it was not open. There was things left unsaid, things left undone, or things left to the shadow, or things that we're not sure about, right? So that's with that situation. I feel you are really loving and caring for yourself. This is the Queen of Cups. You're really focused on yourself, of growing your goodness, of balancing your emotions, of working on your finances. This is what I'm getting. This is what I'm getting for your overall energy. And that is not a bad energy. Sometimes we need to work on ourselves, on our finances. To find exactly what we need and to grow what it is that we want so that we could feel stable, right? Because sometimes we need our money to be stable in order for us to move forward also, right? Then we get the Ace of Wands. And to me, this means that there is going to be very pa a passionate direction you're going to head to. Um, whether it be to finances, that could be a possibility. You're going you're gonna to head into somewhere passionately with your finances. It could be that you're heading to a new endeavor passionately or a new person or situation. I don't get another person card. I did look at the under of this card and I got the king of pentacles and then we get the full. Okay, so to me it feels like you could be heading to a person because the king of pentacles could be another individual you're dealing with. This individual could be of earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Or it could be you wanting to grow your pentacles, you know, because we got lots of pentacles in this reading. So to me, it feels like if you're focused a lot in growing your pentacles and really getting what it is you need to feel grounded and balanced, okay? But if it is that you're going towards another individual passionately, then I feel you're going to get your happiness out of this because in the end, your overall energy is the 10 of pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles not only incorporates finances, but it incorporates happy home, happy family, and it, you can see a relationship and a child there. 
happy relationship, okay? So whatever it is that you're looking for, I feel mainly your focus is financing and growing and really balancing your emotions to become that stable queen of cups. Knowing what she wants, what she needs, and giving emotionally of yourself. So you're going to be open, right? You're just... A past situation did not close you off. You are still going to be open and you're going to head in a direction that brings you that wish fulfillment, although it wasn't fulfilled before, okay? So right now, you are going to head in a new direction like the fool. Into this, there has to be something with this king of pentacles, whether it's finances of a person, it could be either or, because king of pentacles is about working on your finances, gaining stability. And that could be that you're gaining your stability emotionally, and financially or it could be that you're heading in a new passionate direction um into someone with the king of pentacles outlook this is someone very grounded someone who has their who has you know themselves together who can help you grow also right so it could lead to any of these things and, and, and in the end you get your wish fulfillment you get your happiness okay even though the previous you know before this reading started not before the reading started, in your previous cards, it seemed that something didn't come through. But I feel like you're going to ground yourself, open yourself emotionally. You're going to head passionately to a new direction, whether it be building your pentacles or a person, but it is going to lead to your happiness and you're going to be going to this person thing or situation or your finances like a fool and taking a leap of faith and doing the best you can to gain the money you need. And in the end, it is what you're going to have. You're going to have the ten of pentacles, all the happiness you wish for. So um, this is very great reading for you, Cancer. I hope it resonated with you. I hope you liked it. It's moving forward in a new direction, even if it means balancing yourself and opening up yourself emotionally to so this a passionate direction. Or is it that you're open, you're passionately going into a new endeavor to build your pentacles or your finances? You're going in a new direction, and, and it's going to bring you happiness. Okay, or whether it be you're balancing both your emotional and your pentacles to head in a new direction. That is another possibility. But in the end, there will be happiness. So great reading for you. Great overall energy of fulfillment and happiness for you. Okay. Um, last but not least, we're going to do the Oracle cards. The first one I got from Archangel Michael card. It says, God is in charge. Okay. It says, Dear God, please help me let go of this situation, giving it faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve, heal everything and everyone involved. God is always in, in, you know, in charge. And if you allow him in your heart, he's able to help you with whatever situations you're going through. Okay. Then we have divine talents, 39. So let's read what divine talents is if I find the book list because I know I put it somewhere. Just don't know where. Maybe I won't find the booklet and we'll have to... Here it goes. <laughs> uh, 39, it says... Um, you are talented... You are a talented, a talented soul. Over many lifetimes, you have developed your spiritual abilities to channel higher awareness, attract healing energy, and radiate light to uplift the consciousness of those around you. Beautiful. Your divine talents are many and uniquely expressed through you. Your talents do not have to resemble those of another to have their own inestimable value. Do not be afraid to use your divine talents. Beautiful. That's a beautiful using your talents. Next is second ray of wisdom. Giving your, you know, bringing that light in from God and universe. Second ray of, of wisdom. Let's see what is that. It says, the second ray of wisdom is a consciousness of loving wisdom straight from the heart of the universe. It amplifies the magnetic power of attraction, empowering you to pull into your life all that is needed for your life's work. It brings the opportunity to heal, restore, understand through the power of love and the light of ancient wisdom. The spiritual master known as Buddha is with you now to help you fully receive and integrate the blessing of this ray of light from the universe. Really opening up your heart of love for everyone. Okay. Then we got Alabaster Tablet. That's 41 of the White Light Oracle. And it says, let's see what it says there for 41. It 
It says you are remembering at a soul level. You are tapping into greater awareness and understanding of your highest life purpose. Shall become even clearer to you. This may evoke unsettling change within you, but the change is necessary for a new way to manifest. You are protected and guided at all times, especially when you feel uncertain about your course. You are truly loved. Beautiful reading for you, going in a new passionate way, opening up your emotional side, really going into something that will help you advance and your abundance financially, or even helping you in a new endeavor with someone new, or, you know, I don't know if they're new or old, but I know that there is an, a king of pentacles here, and it could be just a person helping you build those pentacles too, right? And going in passionately like a fool. So this is your reading, Cancer. I hope it resonated with you. Happy birthday. Enjoy the rest of your month. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.